there's actually a couple different ways to end a cover stitch on the Burnett Funlock B42. Now the first one I'm going to show you and one we've been showing you throughout these videos is a way that actually when you stop and do this technique it actually locks in the cover stitch immediately. And so that is actually something to keep that in mind because you don't want any stitches to kind of get pulled out as you're removing the fabric from the machine and then you realize oh I've got a little gap from where I started to where I ended. So one thing you do want to do, you can sew off the edge. I will show you what happens at that point, but I like to just sew right to the end. And then if my needles aren't all the way up, go ahead and turn them with the hand wheel until they are, which I think they're pretty, yep, they're at their highest position. Lift up the presser foot and then take something sharp and skinny. For me, this, that's my little pair of scissors. Lift up underneath the foot. We're gonna swipe the needle threads between the foot and the fabric towards me. Now when I do this, I've got this little loop of all three threads because we are using a three needle cover stitch uh, here. Go ahead and snip them and then you're going to pull out the back. Now as you pull out the back, you will notice you're still connected to the cover stitch thread. But what happens is, is that little uh, kind of release and pull allows that on the back side, this is now connected. I, I did not lose my last stitch. Everything is perfectly aligned. Now the only way that this would come out would be is if I went from my last stitch, tried to work those stitches to go here. This stitch never comes undone. That's just not the way that's actually done. So that little thread is secure and we don't have to worry about it. Now another way to do it is actually, let's just go ahead, I'll put my fabric in and stitch a little bit. Another way to do it is actually to turn the hand wheel all the way down so the needles go to their lowest position. Now I know we can't see what's going on here, but they're down and then the looper has actually uh, wherever it is. Now if you stop right here, and then now I'm going to turn my hand wheel away from me, the looper is going to back up. It's like backing the truck up and it actually undoes the last stitch. But watch this, I'm going to lift up my foot and it's very gentle here that I'm going to come in and I'm going to pinch the last stitch. Everything will come out as four individual threads, three on the top and one underneath, and then I'm going to clip. All right, so what do we have here on the back side? And this is where I was talking about, you might lose a stitch, but if that's okay, or you've overlapped enough stitches that losing a stitch or two is something you're not worried about. But here's what you need to do. You actually it will find this is where you can pull the cover stitch and it will start to pull out. So how do we get this to stop? Well, obviously we would have wanted to stop way back here, but what we're going to do is this loop is the critical one. So somewhere along the line, you need to get a hold of that loop and pull it back through. That's what's going to lock it off. So my goal is usually to do it with it all the way on the opposite side. I was already out of one of these stitches. But here's the thing, is that if you don't do it right away, you're gonna back up and these stitches are going to be a little loose. Now, what do you do with these stitches? You can actually take them and put them on a needle and then zip them to the back side, and then you can kind of even weave them through your fabric and then cut off a small little tail. So that's one way to do it. There's a time and place for each of these methods. Now, you can actually stitch off the end. Sometimes I'm successful and sometimes I'm not, but here's what it would look like. So if I'm just gonna sew right off the end, Keep a little gentle pressure out off the back of the machine and you'll have a little bit of a chain. But sometimes you do lose that chain, so it is something to kind of keep in mind. And I would recommend that it, once you start again, that you lift up the foot, put the fabric all the way in so those needles can get right back onto fabric the soonest possible. So like I said, sometimes I lose my stitches, but if you feel comfortable and you start doing it where you can just zip off the end and cut your chain, uh, that is also a way to end your cover stitching. So I hope you'll find one of the ways. My favorite is that first one where you lift up the presser foot, swipe your scissors underneath, locks it perfectly every single time. I hope you'll give that a try and see if that one's your favorite as well.